Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Not my first attempt at this one, but it is Monday, June 10th, 2024. Uh, row 3 looks interesting. I have six digits right off the bat. I'm only needing 1, 2, 9, and this cell sees 2 and 9. It must be a 1. Therefore, 9 goes here and 2 goes there because this cell can't be 2 because the 2 in column 4 are looking up. Okay, 6 is not there, so it must be here. 4 and 5, neither of them can go in these cells. They must go there and form a pair. Therefore, this is now a pair. 3, 6. And just like that, box 1 is finished. Now, 4 can't go here, so it must go there. In box 3... Therefore, this cell cannot be 4, that one is, which tells me the order of 4, 5. Okay, that places a 5 right there because 5 in column 4 and 6 and rows 1 and 3 look into box 2. Okay, 8 and 2 can't go here. Wait, wait a minute, 2 can't go here or here, so 2 is actually there. In box 2, this cell can't be 8, this cell can't be 8, so 8 must go in one of those two. Two, three, four, five, nine. I need 1, 6, 7, 8. That's down to 6 or 7. This is 1, 6, 7 because it can't be 8. This is 1 or 8, it can't be 6 or 7. I think that can be any of them, unfortunately. Okay, this is 3 or 7 to finish row 2 out. Let's see, 1, 2, 5, 6, 8, so this is 3, 6, no, 3, 4, 7, 9 in these cells. For the rest of box 3, I clean them up, it looks like that, which tells me nothing useful. Actually, it kind of does. These cells can't be 7. 7 in box 9. Therefore, one of those two must be. Since I have to put a 7 in column 9, that says this cell cannot be 7. Now, since the 7 could be here, or here, or here, or here, or here, I don't have enough information to place 7 in rows 1 and 2 yet, but I've got 4, 6, 1 here. In box 6, which looks interesting. Now, 8 can't be here, so it must go in one of those three. That, which will put it in one of those two. Uh, 1, 4, 5, 6, so this is from 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, of which 2 must go there. Let's see, that's not 3, 7, 8, that's not 7. Clean that up and I get nothing out of it. This 5 has nothing else looking into it. 7 and 9. Okay, well, uh, these can't be 7 and these can't be 7 in box 6. So 7 must go there, which is annoying because that could still be 8. I don't quite have a 7-8 pair yet. What I do have is a sextuple. Uh, 2 has to go there. One, six, and four are out. Now, all three of these take out seven, eight. This one rolls out nine. That one rolls out five. Seven, nine, two go out like that. I don't have much in the way of usefulness. In the bottom right of the grid, I'll try the middle first. I've got three, four, five, six, seven. I need one, two, eight, nine. This is down to one or nine. Uh, that's any of them. I think this one can be any of one, two, eight, nine also. Let's see, these cells can't be two, five, eight. So one, four, seven, three, six, nine are the options there. These can't be seven or nine. 
That's not one, that's not six. This one sees four, six twice, three once, and nine. Oh look, there's a one, six, seven. So, this is not one. That cell isn't six. This is a three, four left, so I've got three, four, five, seven. Uh, two ends up there. These are going to be from one, two, six, eight, nine. I've got two thirds of a one, eight, nine. I don't know if I can do anything with that. Two, three, five, six, eight. So these are going to be from one, four, seven, and nine, of which four must go there. much in the way of usefulness. Two-thirds of one, four, nine, and row nine, but I don't think I can do anything with it. Let's see, these can't be nine, so nine must go there. Too many places for seven in box four. Uh, these cells can't be four, five, six, seven. They are from one, two, three, eight, nine. Column three, which when cleaned up is that configuration. These are going to be a triple. Orange. They cannot be one, three, four, five, six, nine. They are from two, seven, eight. Okay, these cells cannot be two, four, five, eight, nine. They are from one, three, four, and six. Those aren't four, that's not three, and these aren't, that's not six, and that's not four. What? Yeah, they can't be two, four, five, eight, no. Okay, I misscanned the grid here. None of them could have been four anyway. They can't be two, four, five, eight, nine. These are one, three, six, and seven. Okay, that's better. Now, these ones can't be two, six, eight, nine. That's these one and seven. That four and five, and I got nothing useful here. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, four and five only appear in those two cells in box four and column one. Okay, eight's here, but this, yeah, eight's here in the box. Therefore, these are not eight. Therefore, those two must be one of them, And but there's a nine here, so I don't have an eight, nine pair. I wish I did. I don't have that. In the meantime, four, five, six, so these are from one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, eight, nine specifically, neither can be seven. Two, three, eight, nine end up here. So possible hidden quadruple in box nine. I need to watch for that. Um, this cell isn't one, two, five, or seven. It's three, four, six, eight, nine explicitly. These cells cannot be three, seven, eight. That one was out six. This one one and two from obvious reasons. Now, if I look at four, five, and six, they only appear in those three cells. So, as expected, I've, yeah, one, two, three, eight, nine. I believe this is a quintuple. That's 
Like, that's a quadruple. So, I'm going to argue this one's not 9. This isn't 9 or 2 or 1. This cell is not 3 or 8 or 9. Four, five, six, and four, six here, but I don't have anything else to go with it. Arumph. Yeah, one, eight, nine, I don't have anything else to go with it. In column six, but the whole grid is filled out, so at this point I'm looking for a breakthrough. Which may not necessarily be in rows from the way this is looking. I've got a 1, 2, 3, 8, 9 quintuple here, but I can't reduce it any further. Hmm. All right, what am I missing? Uh, these can't be 6 because of that. This isn't 6 by derived pair. These aren't 6 by that. Yeah, okay. 6 in row 6 must be there. I could have seen that by those two given the 6s. Now, this cell can't be 6. If it weren't for that pesky 7, I'd have a triple in box 8. Unfortunately, knowingly, this could still be an 8. Let's see, the, the, these can't be one if this is right, is a triple, and that only leaves, since those can't be one and those can't be one, uh, well, these can't be one and this could never have been one, and if this isn't one, then that one must be. Uh, that place is seven, three, it's going to do a lot for the other digits, these aren't three. Neither of those. That's not one. This isn't three. And neither is that. So this is reduced to a one, six, seven in column one. That's not seven. Okay, so six, so six, one. Uh, that's seven as expected. This is eight. Three, six. Uh, these aren't eight. It's forced to be there. That's not seven.
<sighs> oh, yeah, all kind of triples. If I tried to mark them all, I'd unfortunately be slowing myself down at this point. Uh, these can't be eight. And so the only place for eight in row six is that one. Let's see, that'll do nine, two, eight, three in that order. These are neither eight nor nine. This is nine. Row one is reduced to a three, four. The two in row seven places the seven, two, three, one, seven, three, two, five, nine, places four, three, four, to just about finish up the right third of the grid. Three, four, no, that has to be a four. That's a three. These aren't one. Five, four, one, six. This forced to be a nine. That's an eight. Nine, this is a four. That's a one. Two, one, not one, eight, two, nine, eight, nine, two, five. There we go, 17 minutes. Yeah, again, not bad. I probably could have done this in 12 or 11 if I'd scanned the board better.